of consideration but just missed. Last four in, California, South Florida, BYU, and Iona. And the first four out, Oral Roberts, Miami, Nevada, and Drexel. Seth? Well, first of all, I got to say, even though I was, I would even say critical, uh, including Iona, the fact that you've got Oral Roberts, Nevada, and Drexel in your first four out, I really commend you guys, because that tells me you're really giving uh, the non-power conference schools a fair shake and at least getting them close. But uh, to me, that decision, Iona being the last team in, I'm just curious as to how that discussion went down and what was it about maybe that differentiated them between those other four that was the, the final factor. Seth, I'll tell you that that conversation was an ongoing source of uh, discussion for several days. And we worked long and hard to make sure that we got uh, that last team as fit as we possibly could. We know how, how important that is, how critical it is. Uh, we talked and talked and talked and analyzed resumes of these different teams. At the end of the day, we really felt that Iona made a strong effort to schedule aggressively. They performed well against that schedule. I think they were 5-3 and three in the top 100, if I recall. Uh, in their league, they were really a pretty dominant team throughout. They were consistent. They didn't have any, any horrific uh, occurrences. I know they lost a tough game at Siena, a team they had beaten significantly early. I think they went up 20-2 to two and then sort of fell asleep at the wheel. They lost a tough game to Manhattan, which is sort of a rivalry game. They lost a tough game to Hofstra, which again is a rivalry game. But in general, they were a very, very good team during the course of the year. I saw them play a number of times myself, and uh, I think they're going to hold up pretty well in the tournament. All right, guys, let me take a moment to remind our viewers the 2012 tournament.